so as I promised, I have another jawline jewellery haul. This time I actually went and bought jewellery rather than just oddities and taxidermy pieces. I have got a few kind of taxidermy pieces which I bought which I'll put at the end of this video. So the first kind of main section of it will just be jewellery. I have already filmed this video, I filmed it outside, but unfortunately due to the wind and the sun messing around, it just turned out awful so I thought I'd film this bit inside and then when I'm showing off my jewellery I'll show you what it looked like outside in natural light. Firstly I wanted to say that everything I got from Jawline Jewellery was really nicely packaged in these little cardboard boxes. Also it meant none of them were damaged in shipping and also they didn't get tangled. One thing I really find annoying is when you get all your necklaces all in one box and they all get all like mixed together and all the chains get all knotted. Because when it is in the post it is chucked around a lot and it's not surprising that these things are all kind of smushed together. The majority of the things I got are necklaces. Now some of these necklaces are custom pieces which I saw that she had already sold in the past and I kind of asked her to recreate. Now Jawline Jewelry has been so patient with me because I keep changing my mind and I kept picking things and basically she had to work out everything I'd got in my head and kind of get an overall price. She was also able to take some pieces that she was already selling and switch up the chains and things because I am definitely a silver kind of girl and some of these things were on gold chains and bronze chains so she really really kindly switched them up for me. Now as my usual disclaimer I will be showing bones and things from dead animals. Now if you aren't a fan of that I would suggest that you do not watch this video but I would like to say that all of these pieces are ethically sourced. None of these animals were killed for their bones, they were either found dead or they died of natural causes. I've got a box here full of mini boxes and I'm just going to take out each piece and show you individually. So this first piece I'm going to show you is a tooth necklace and I think this is absolutely gorgeous. This is actually a custom piece. I saw her selling one really really similar to this and unfortunately I was too slow and I didn't buy it in time and someone else got it. So she really kindly tried to make me another I one. I am so pleased with this and I cannot say thank you enough. I know that she went through a lot of trouble trying to get this necklace together. As you can imagine trying to attach all these tiny teeth is very very fiddly but it definitely has the overall look that I was going for. I absolutely love teeth it's a little bit of a session of mine and to have them on a necklace is something which I think is so unique and interesting. Now the chain that she's put it on is a really nice silver chain. I can usually tell the quality of a chain by if you do this. Now some cheap chains which you get from China for like 99p they will literally bend under store with just the tiniest bit of pressure but there is absolutely no sign of this chain breaking or even distorting in any way. It seems to be a really good sturdy chain and also the clips she uses are quite large and if you're like me where you have to keep your nails short then trying to get the clasps of necklaces can be quite a struggle so using these big clasps makes life a lot easier for me. Each of these teeth are attached by tiny little hoops which means that they don't move around and they stay in place. So when you're are wearing this necklace it does sit really really nicely and the teeth don't move around and like clump next to each other they stay put and it just is such a pretty looking necklace. I'll insert a clip now of what it looks like when it's on because I think it just looks so pretty and elegant especially when it's against your chest. I got is so unique. This is actually an urchin spine, I believe. It's, it's to do with an urchin <laughs> and it's just so gorgeous. If I had seen this, I would not have known what it was. I would have thought it was either some kind of shell or some man-made product because of these lines that twist round like perfectly. It is naturally off of an I animal. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And I think it's such like a unique piece. See, when you saw this, you wouldn't really think that it's a taxidermy or an oddity piece. It's only when you know what it is that you realise how amazing it, it is. It does seem really sturdy, but at the same time, it is really lightweight. This necklace is like the perfect weight. It means that it hangs like so, so nicely. And also the way she's attached this urchin spine to it is so so clever. So there's a loop through the top of the actual piece itself and then the actual chains are both attached by two separate little loops which means that the actual pendant it stands really nice and evenly in the middle. Now these chains don't actually come with any added like extension bits so all of these chains are kind of the same length. I'm sure if you sent her a message she would happily add a little extension chain on there for you if you do prefer your necklaces to be slightly lower or even slightly tighter. Although it's really easy to do this yourself you just need a chain and a little pair of pliers. Either way it's quite flexible and they look so elegant when they're on. is 
actually really, really pretty. It's something that's not like really in your face and you probably wouldn't even be able to tell what it is until you looked at it closely. So this is actually a glass vial necklace and she does have a few of these still for sale. And in my one there is a tiny miniature little spinal cord. As you can see there's a tiny little glass vial and inside it does have a little spinal cord. Now it does actually move around inside the little glass dome but because of the shape of it it can't really move too much so it I'm not too worried about it breaking um, while it moves and things but the actual vial itself seems of a really nice quality it's then got this kind of linking loop so it does mean a little bit of movement to it which is quite nice I, I think. feel like this is a very useful piece for me I have to think about when I can wear necklaces when I work with children I of course can't wear too big a necklaces and also necklaces which could potentially scare them or are too controversial now although this is a taxidermy piece I 100% understand that not all people agree and like taxidermy for example, my mother just can't understand why anyone would want to collect bones of dead animals but I do understand that some people just don't really like it. But this is definitely not in your face. I don't think that it's like gross or anything and I feel like you could really easily wear this to most occasions. <laughs> really nice quality chain. Chain is such a nice thickness for the size of this pendant. This next necklace has a very classic look to it and I really really like it. It's a little bone here which is attached by either end to a chain. It's so simple but it looks so so pretty and I can understand why these necklaces sell out so quickly on her page because they are absolutely gorgeous. Now this necklace and the one I'm going to show you in a minute are the ones which I am most worried about breaking. I feel like they are definitely very fragile and heavy that's why I'd only wear them for like special occasions or if I was dressing up or something I wouldn't wear them kind of like for every day running around to the shops and things because I would be worried about breaking them. Seeing that they are made of real bone so they are actually quite strong I'm just a little bit scared. This again is a super simplistic piece but the way it's done gives it a very kind of striking look when you're wearing it because it is horizontal. It does have two loops either side just to attach. This is such a timeless piece and I feel like you could wear it with like pretty much any any outfit. It criticism for this necklace is that it is super light so when you do wear it sometimes it kind of goes a little bit of a wonk just because it's not really heavy enough to pull the necklace down but really this does not matter at all I kind of like fiddle with my necklaces like constantly anyway and I feel like once you're wearing it gravity will kind of sort itself out but that would be my only criticism is that it's not that heavy seems like a little bit of a silly criticism to me. Now I'm sure you're probably wanting a little bit of a break from bones so I will show you this kind of like oddities style necklace. Now this is one of her newest kind of creations like this is one of the most recent things that she's put in her store and I am so in love. It's a doll's eye necklace. Now this is so simple it's just one of those doll eyes that open and close when you move it and it just gives this really kind of creepy and eerie look. Now I've been looking for a necklace like this for ages and I've come across loads. I really like the big like grand ones with the big eyes that move that really stand out but there was something about having a tiny little eye that moves. Kind of just made it all the more creepy because from a distance it just looks like a little circular pendant. It's only when you get close that you realise that there's these eyelashes that are moving up and down. Now the eye itself is encased in this like black and silver little thing and the eyelashes just move up and down and inside it has this really like good quality looking eye. There's even realistic details within the iris itself and it's attached really nicely onto this chain. Now I asked to have like a jump ring sort of attachment thing in the middle which means that it stays in the same place when it's on the necklace and I do know she has ones that move around. I'm sure if you wanted one the same as mine where it's attached actually to the chain if you send her a message I'm sure she'd be happy to sort you out with one but I just really like the fact that it stays there. Now she has this one in her shop which is absolutely gorgeous and I'm very very tempted to buy it and it has three of these eyes all hanging in a row and it's super super creepy but for now I am absolutely enthralled with this one and I think it's such a pretty piece. <laughs>
an everyday piece. It does seem really sturdy, although it does have like an eye and eyelashes and things inside it. It's all kind of encased in this nice kind of metal circular dome, so it doesn't feel like it's going to break or anything. And again, it's on this lovely, good quality silver chain. I don't feel like I have to be particularly like gentle with it. It could withstand quite a lot of kind of heavy activity without breaking. I am so pleased with this. I am really looking to expand my collection of doll eye jewellery. This is my first piece but I have been looking around for them everywhere and there's so many really pretty ideas to do with doll's eyes at the moment so I am really excited to start growing my collection of them. I think this is such a cool little idea. I love taxidermy and I love oddities and I feel like this completely goes with the whole theme and it's just another little section of her shop that she has to offer. Let's go back to bone necklaces. The next one that I got she actually has another one in her store right now and it is a bird bone necklace now I think this is such a unique shape it's completely different to any kind of shaped bone necklace I've seen before when I hold it up you can't really see how pretty it is so I'm gonna insert a clip now of what like looks like when it's on because it sits so nicely on your chest <laughs> one I'm most scared about breaking because it almost reminds me of like um one of those like what they called wish bones where you kind of break them so I feel like it could break really easily so this one I will definitely be saving for like formal occasions special occasions when I'm dressed up and things because I feel like this is the kind of necklace you'd wear by itself without any other jewelry on your neck because I'd be so scared of something bashing into this again I have to say a massive thank you to jawline jewelry for swapping the chain for me this was actually on a gold chain it's so cool on a gold chain but all of my jewelry is silver and I just like everything to match so she kindly swapped it onto a silver chain for me and it just makes me love this necklace even more. Now last but not least I got a pair of earrings. Now you may be wondering what kind of earrings I could possibly get being made out of bone and I was so excited when I saw these. Actually little jaws on earring hooks. Now these earring hooks have little stamps on them so I'm assuming that they are made of sterling silver. Which is great news because my ears are a little bit fussy so having sterling silver always makes things slightly more easier for me. And somehow, I don't know how she did it, but she got a matching pair of jewels. I did say to Jawline Jewelry when they were making these that I don't mind if they don't match because I completely understand how hard it is to get matching earrings and things when you're using like natural products and you don't have much control about how they're formed and what they look like. But somehow she did it and I'm so, so pleased with them. They are the earrings. They've got little teeth in them. It looks to me like they've been coated in some kind of like see-through, which kind of keeps everything in one place. Again, these do seem to be quite fragile so I wouldn't want to do too much kind of like heavy activity when wearing them but I feel like these will look so perfect teamed with some of the necklaces I've bought from Jawline Jewelry when you're going out so when I'm going out I'm gonna have a lovely matching set <laughs> in my ears you can hardly even tell you're wearing them some earrings that I wear are quite heavy and quite large and I'm constantly aware that they're in my ears but these are so lightweight and so nice to wear I was worried that my hair would get caught in all the spikes and the teeth and stuff but I have had no problem at all with my hair and I have a lot of my hair kind of down and around my ears anyway so I was quite surprised by that I also thought a lot about how to attach these and they hang like in the perfect position I've worn these once and I had so many questions about them when I was wearing them so so I'm really really pleased with them and again a massive thank you for doing this custom piece for now, me. Now as I said I do have a few other kind of taxidermy pieces which I got from Jawline Jewelry. Now the first thing I got was actually in this little circle box. Now I have a bearded dragon as some of you may know and man, much like all other reptiles my bearded dragon does shed. Now I have a whole box down there full of my dragon shed because I'm a complete weirdo and I collect it but my dragon sheds little bits at a time like he'll shed his hand then he'll shed the end of his tail then he shed the back of his neck he just never does a full body shed now i don't know if this is just like a species thing or if it's just my dragon being annoying he tends to be constantly shedding in different areas now he is a growing boy and reptiles do shed when they grow because obviously they need to get rid of their outer skin so they Span. can and get bigger and become even more scaly but for a bearded dragon i think it i've never seen and it's probably really rare to get a full body shed but for snakes i know it's a little bit more possible to get a full body shed 
Now, I actually got this snake, which was all rolled up in the, well it's not a snake, it's a snake shed, which is all rolled up in the little circular box. And I amazing because it's so complete. And it's even got like the eyelids of the snake on there, which is a little bit creepy, but still really cool. Now I'm gonna have this little guy kind of either wrapped around something or he's gonna be sat like along, hanging along the top of my oddity shelves because I think he'll look so cool kind of guarding all my stuff making sure no one takes anything and I just think it's a really nice piece to have. Jewel and Jory offered to actually put the snake skin in a vial but I opted to just have it loose because I'm going to be hanging mine around but I know that she does have some other kind of sheds and things which are in vials. If you are interested in having like a glass vial full of skin then definitely check out her store. This snake shed is actually from a green tree python and from what I I've heard they're quite hard to look after and quite like interesting snakes so I'm really pleased to actually own one of these. <laughs> of these in my previous haul from Jawline Jewelry but I got another one of these like Roebuck deer skull things and the reason I got it is because it's got exactly the same back to the other one. I am doing loads of kind of taxidermy and skull crafts at the moment and I thought that this would just go really nicely with my other one and they'd make like a perfect pair. Last but not least I also got this kind of big bag of bones from Jawline Jewelry. She was kind of doing a job lot inside there's like jawlines, there's bits of spinal cord in there like vertebrae and like and like a skull so there's loads of different bits in there just to work with I am doing as I just said lots of craft with taxidermy so I thought these would be really interesting and she really kindly gave them a good old clean and got rid of any horrible bugs and things off of them so I just need to give them their final scrub and they'll be ready to use. That's everything I got from Jawline Jewelry I absolutely love this store and I will put all the information that you need down below in the description so you can find her definitely give her store a follow because she is bringing out new stuff all the time and I'm constantly surprised by the different pieces of jewellery that she's been making. Her prices are so so reasonable. If you think about the fact that you've got to first like come across the bones and then clean them up and then get them all treated and then you've got to drill them, you've got to get the jewellery, you've got to make it into jewellery and have the idea of what the jewellery is going to look like and then package it all up in these really nice little boxes and send them off. Her prices are ridiculously cheap. They're so so good. And as I said I am so grateful for her patience. I know I've been one of the most tricky customers she's ever had. I'm really excited to kind of have expanded my bone and like oddity jewellery pieces. These pieces I've got from Jawline Jewellery are my most unique and interesting necklaces that I own. The packaging is amazing. All the pieces I've got have been um, packaged so so well. Nothing I've got has been damaged in any way and it's either sent through Royal Mail or Parcel Force and I'm pretty sure it's always tracked as well so she always knows where stuff is. I hope that you're all having a lovely week. If you've got any questions or comments please do leave them below. If you've got any crazy ideas for custom pieces definitely send her a message and see what she can do. I'm to do some more kind of taxidermy pieces soon so please let me know down in the comments if you've enjoyed them. If it's this sunny where you are I hope you're enjoying the shade and I will see you next time. Bye!